What's going on everyone? Uh, so we are headed to the gym today. Paul is driving. Uh, in the last video I was saying how I never use a pre-workout and that I kind of want to try one. I realized that like back in, I don't even know when it was, maybe back in like April or May, I think I bought this Rockstar and it's literally been sitting in the fridge for like months and I've never, I never had it. So I'm going to have it today on the way to the gym and I guess I'll let you guys know when I'm there in the commentary how it goes if I notice anything if I want to throw up um, but today it's leg day squat day I have seven sets of five I will be doing with I believe 305 pounds I have to check the book but I believe that's what it is so I'll take you through that I don't think I'm going to take you through the entire workout probably just the squats and later today, Paul and I are very, very excited because we are going to be eating something we haven't had in way too long. So we'll show you guys what that is. But for now, I'm going to try the Rockstar. Paul is driving to the gym. Hopefully we make it there in one piece. Oh, and I'll see you in a bit. Try this quick. It's not bad. I can't. I can't even tell you what the flavor is. I don't even. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm not drinking it for the flavor. I'm drinking it for the. I guess the energy is what I'm drinking it for. So we'll see if it works. Pulling up to the gym now. Finished the rock star. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the commentary. Before we discuss the workout, just to follow up on that Rockstar that I drank, like I said, I don't usually drink energy drinks. I don't usually take pre-workouts. I do drink coffee, but that's usually during the day. And I'm not going to lie, I did actually feel some extra energy. And it did wear off after a few sets of squats, but initially I did have some energy. I felt good, and I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's going to be a thing that I'll continue doing, though, just because I don't want to use too much caffeine. I don't think it's that great but I might keep a few extra in the fridge just to have on days that I need an extra push. Also, something I didn't like, the all the extra liquid in my stomach when I had this belt on. I was kind of pushing against it, and I felt a little bit nauseous. But anyway, the workout here, I'm not going to take you through the whole thing, just the squats, which, like I said, it's seven sets of five, 305 pounds. I think it went pretty well, and it was a pretty good workout. But what I wanted to discuss while you watch the rest of these sets is ha is maintaining strength on a cut now a lot of people think that when you cut you're going to automatically lose strength and while it's true you might lose strength when you cut there are things you could do to prevent it the first thing you want to do is you don't want to start lifting light weights you want to continue lifting heavy weight because when you're cutting you're already giving your body less calories so by giving your body less calories you're basically saying hey body I don't really want to maintain my weight so do whatever you need to do, lose weight, and your body's going to say, okay, so let's get rid of some of this muscle. But if you're doing heavy weights, that's a reason for your body to hold on to the muscle. So you're obviously not giving your body enough food to hold on to the muscle, but if you're giving it an, a stimulus to hold on to it, that goes a long way in maintaining muscle. Another thing is people think they're going to lose muscle and lose strength, and it becomes mental. If you believe truly that you're not losing strength, you probably won't lose strength for at least a significant portion of your cut. Now, when you do get to lower body fats, like I would say below 10%, at that point, you're going to start losing uh, some strength, your leverage has changed. But when you're starting your cut initially, and if you're still above 10%, there's really no reason to lose strength other than the fact that maybe on a certain workout, you're a little tired. Um, but other than being tired, you shouldn't actually be losing strength at that point. And like I said, I do believe a lot of it is mental. Until you start getting to that shredded territory, which is then, you're going to lose strength. Everyone does. But until then, stay strong mentally and you, won't lose, you probably won't lose strength. Make sure you continue training heavy because like I said, the food's no longer giving your body the stimulus to hold on to the muscle. So you have to do it some other way and that's by lifting heavy. Um, here though, the workout's coming to an end. Sorry for the very short commentary. The video is not over though, so make sure you watch the rest of the video where Paul and I eat at a, probably our favorite restaurant. Um, so stay tuned to see what that is. We have been there before on the channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. 
and like I said, enjoy the rest of the video. So we're currently in the car headed to dinner. Earlier in the video we said we are going to a place we haven't been to in a while. We didn't want to wait for a table, it's usually a really long wait, so we're just going to pick it up and you're going to have to wait just a little more to see what the surprise is, but we're excited. We are. And we're walking inside now. There it is, TD Bank. They started serving really good burritos. Kidding, we're just in their parking lot. We're still walking there. Pollo Sel Paisa. The sign was kind of dark, but we're at our favorite Colombian place that we haven't been to in a long time. So that's where we are right now, heading in now. Look at this crowd. We got the goodies. Oh, they're so, so warm. We picked up the food. I didn't even realize there was a pretty bad car accident right outside, and I was filming the sign just trying to show you guys that we're eating at Poyos. And there was like a car accident right in front. I hope they don't think I was filming them because I didn't even realize. But there's a car accident right in front. Besides no, that, no it smells hurt. amazing. In no here. one's hurt, but the damage looks pretty bad. So yeah, it smells amazing. I'm not going to say what we got yet. You might be able to figure it out if you've seen previous videos, but we're going to go home, unpack this bad boy, and eat because we are hungry and we are excited. Starving. No, excited. Excited and starving. <laughs> so there is mine. I decided to get the steak and onions. There is the sirloin steak, onions, rice, beans that I put on top. Paula had some extra chicken she didn't want, so I took some of that. And here it is. I haven't told him about my dish yet. And Paula got the chicken. Hold on, I'm coming. Coming. I'm coming. She's just putting it on a plate because it's easier to eat that way. It was literally 12 ounces of cooked, cooked chicken. 12 ounces of it. And we've been going to this place for years. The price still hasn't gone up. This, all this, it was like, the steak was less. I did weigh it was like seven and a half ounces. It used to be more. She said like 12-ish ounces of chicken. Comes out to $13.95 each, so a lot of volume, great food. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna Not great, eat. amazing. All right, first bite. You gotta get the steak with the onions on it. And it's amazing, like I remember. I hated onions my entire life until I tried the onions with this, and ever since, I kinda like onions. Also comes with a little salad, which we will eat. Mm. And unfortunately, my plate is empty. Paul is still working on hers. Like a champ. I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm very full, kind of. I've been waiting for this for too long, so I'm just gonna continue enjoying this. So we were done eating, unfortunately. <laughs> But we still got dessert. Um, I kind of overestimated my macros. There was less beans, less rice, less everything than yeah. I thought. So I have a little bit extra. So I'm going to show you what I'm having. It's from her homeland of Chile. But before I get to that, let's show what Paul is having. I've got my typical froyo, salted caramel, yogurt chips, uh, crushed Oreos, and some cheesecake bites. Look at that. Mmm, yumminess. I'm having Arctic Zero. That's what you just heard in the the beeping in the background. It's in the microwave. <laughs> before I have that, this is a Chilean candy. It's called a you say it. Chocman. Chocman. How do I describe it? It's like cake with a little bit of caramel inside, and then it's like dipped in chocolate. Basically, I'll, that's what. I'll it show is. you in a second. Let me like, go. It's, it's just gonna go to the right microwave. There. Yeah. So. uh I'm used to it being a little bit bigger than it was, so here is the Arctic Zero, microwaved it for 40 seconds. Before I eat that though, we're gonna eat the Chakamon and I'll show you that right now. Actually sell, it says to sell by October 19th, so today's uh, October 1st, so we're good. So like it looks like a candy bar on the outside, but it's kind of like deceiving because it's actually cake on the inside. It actually tastes like chocolate cake, and we don't have anything like that in the United States. I can't tell you what it's similar to other than K 
cake. So I wish we had these here because they're really good. I think the macros are like six and a half fat and 20 carbs, so it's not too bad. They're very specific macros and chili. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish this. Paula got me a spoon for my Arctic Zero. And we'll catch up to you in just a bit. So we are wrapping up the night. Food was delicious. We're sitting on the couch right now. So reclining. Uh, we're gonna watch a movie, but we decided we're gonna try a show. Um, that show on HBO, it's called The Night Of. Heard some good things about it. It's like a limited series, so I like shows that you don't need a very long commitment. So we're gonna try that now. Um, anyway, if you liked the video, do us a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.